If you are watching this video after the first few days of 2021, then this video is for you. It means that you are serious about making this year way better than 2020, if not the best year ever. But how do we make that possible? The answer is to be the best version of yourself. It means you're becoming less of who you are now and becoming more of who you are meant to be. In this video, I'm going to share to you concepts that I have learned and I have used in the past few years that helped me improve my life and my life circumstances. At the end of this video, if you've learned something, don't hesitate to share this to your friends. And if you wish to continue the journey with me, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Before we proceed to the main topic of this video, I just want to answer one important question. Why is New Year's resolution fails 81% at the time when mid-January comes? In every 100 people, 19 lang yung tinutuloy nila ang New Year's resolution after the January 15, 16, onwards until the end of the year. And 81% or 81 people they will simply stop. The idea of new year and new me may give us a little encouragement to kickstart our goals. However, in reality, most of us will fail. And here are the four reasons why. Number one, we are not well prepared. So for most of us, siguro sinasabi natin, okay, magdadayat na ako on January 1st. First thing in, in the year or the first day of the year. But in reality, when do we consume all of our leftovers from January 31st. It's on the first three days of the year. So yun pa lang, we already set ourselves into failure. In order for this to be successful, we have to plan ahead. And planning means we need to anticipate kung kailan ba natin gagawin yung mga bagay-bagay. Number two, resolution is not clear and has no purpose. So for example, in terms of money naman, what if our goal for this year is to save 100,000 pesos at the end of the year? However, yung sweldo natin is enough lang talaga siya for our expenses. Knowing how much we want to save at the end of the year is fine. It's very specific. However, we need to identify the source itself. Saan ba manggagaling yung maging savings mo? And para saan? In reality, mahirap maging consistent. But if we know why we are doing this, it will be easier for us to do it. Para ba ito sa education ng anak mo or para sa uh, anything important for you? Kapag dumating yung panahon na parang medyo nahihirapan kang maging consistent sa goal mo, remembering the purpose will be easier for you to come back to that. So, we need to be clear and we need to have purpose. Number three, negative framing. So, for example, I have, I have here two words and let me know what comes into your mind. Exercise. Diet. So first thing, exercise, most of us, siguro ang iniisip natin is nakapagod, tiring siya, it consumes so much time. When we exercise properly and we plan ahead, we don't really need to exercise every day. You only need three to four times and one hour per session. That is enough. The second word is diet. Most of us will think na, oh diet, we need to starve ourselves. When rice is life, maybe during diet, we don't really have to eat rice. Well, we cannot eat rice at all. But diet is not about eating less. It's about eating more of nutritious food. And the last reason why people fail their New Year's resolution is, number four, the resolution is not you. For example, the main goal is to get a higher source of income. And the only source of income that you have at the moment is your corporate job. Now, in your corporate job, in order for you to get a higher salary, it means you need to get promoted. And promotion means you need to handle people. What if you're not a people person? You just want to become an individual contributor into your company and you don't want to handle people. It means that the goal and how you can get it, there's a disconnect. Maybe the way for you to get a higher income is not to get a promotion in your company but to get another source of income. You know what I mean? So sometimes you need to identify what kind of goal or resolution that you want to get this year. And you also need to know how you can get it. Because sometimes the resolution, baka hindi ikaw yun. Kaya hindi mo siya ginagawa kasi hindi ikaw yun. Same as diet. Maybe you don't really need to do exercise na weights or lifting or whatever. Maybe you want to do yoga. Maybe you want to just run job. So you need to identify what kind of 
diet or exercise that you are into. Wala namang masama, walang tama o mali. But what is difficult is trying to be who you are not. Okay, so enough of that New Year's resolution. So this video is about how to set ourselves to win. And how can we win? It is to become the best version of ourselves. Remember, every individual is unique and different. That's why the best version of myself may be different to the best version of yourself. The concepts I'm going to share to you in the next few minutes, I think these are the gen generic um, idea of how you can turn yourself into something better. And I think the last question is, when is the perfect time? Was it January 1st, January 2nd? It is actually when you are ready. Since you are still here at this part of this video, I must say congratulations in advance. So here are the five things that you can do to make this year the best year ever. So first thing on my list is having a yearly theme. So I started theme na to, 2016. So in 2016, my theme was change. So that is a time when I uh, resigned from my work and then went from Philippines to Singapore. 2017 is new experience. That was my first travel outside of Asia. And take some of my bucket list like going to Stonehenge, or going to UK, Ireland. 2018 was investment or passive income. So yun yung time na started talaga ako maghanap ng mga iba't ibang uri ng investments and how I can put some of my savings to. 2019 is career stability. So my focus there was to get a permanent job here in Singapore. And luckily, I did get it. 2020 should have been my most traveled year, but of course, all we know, COVID happened. <laughs> So, hindi siya naging most traveled year. Uh, ayun, nandito lang sa bahay. <laughs> 2021 is about passion project. So, that's why I'm doing this um, vlogging. YouTube. YouTube is actually my passion project. So, maybe I'll talk about more about what passion project is in the next video. So, when you have that yearly theme, the next thing you have to do is create a list of experiences that is in line to that theme. So, for example, for my case, it's passion project. So, the two things in my list are connect with other content creators here in Singapore. Kung sino man nanonood dyan ng mga content creators, um, ping me or message me or email me, let's collaborate this year. Second is to gain experience in video editing. So the problem of having no theme or yearly theme, lahat ng mga bagay parang gusto mong gawin. Lahat ng mga darating sa'yo, grab ka lang ng grab. So yes ka lang ng yes. And you don't know how to say no. It means you don't have focus. Kaya towards the end of the year, Feeling mo ang daming, ang daming nangyari, feeling mo ang daming mong nagawa, but there is no sense of fulfillment. Parang yes, ang dami kong nagawa, pero, pero parang may kulang. Yun yung, yun yung nararamdaman ko dati. That's why I started to create this yearly team. Number two is learn how to think clearly. Um, if I'm going to recommend one book, this is The Art of Thinking Clearly. Actually, it's my second time reading this book. So this book actually helped me on how to filter information. Ang daming information sa social media. If you have... Facebook, Twitter, or any other social media, you get a lot of information, you get a lot of news. And sometimes these news are either real or fake. You still have to, to identify kung ano ba to? Real ba to or fake ba to? Most viral photos or videos are fake. Kaya itong libro na to, it actually helped me how to filter or how to think about this type of information. So if you think na parang medyo negative na yung pumapasok sa yung mga emotions because of this information from social social media. I suggest na magkaroon ka ng social media detox. And how do you do that? Um, I have five recommendations. First is to turn off all your notifications from your social media if you cannot delete them yet. Second is to unfollow negative people. Third, unfollow groups that doesn't help you at all. May mga groups na minsan ikaw yung binubuli. Alam naman natin yan. So, kapag may mga ganung bagay, unfollow. Don't mind how people think about it, just get out. Fourth, delete embarrassing photos. Alam natin yung sa social media natin na para every four, five years or seven years, marami mga pictures na binabalik-balikan yung mga tao. And if it's okay with you na binabalikan yung mga ganong klaseng pictures, then fine, keep it for memories. But if you think na parang medyo embarrassing siya, especially when you are already doing something in your career or you really need to be um, professional in your career, delete them. Fifth, if kaya mo na, delete your social media. If it doesn't serve you well, just simply delete them. Except YouTube, okay? Still follow me, 
Still subscribe? <laughs> Number three, keep motivated. But first, ask yourself, what type of person are you? Are you the kind of go with the flow? Or you have a strong belief that you have a control over a situation? If you are the latter, then you don't have a problem of being motivated all throughout the year. However, pag ikaw yung tao na tingin mo yung mga external forces eh may impact sa iyo, then you have to check yourself from time to time because it means maybe your motivation can easily be challenged kapag may mga external forces. You need to learn how to divert, change that belief na yung external forces may impact sa iyo. But it's more of you have your own control over a situation. So how can we keep the inspiration strong all throughout the year? My first suggestion or what I've been doing to myself is make a small goals. Well, going back to our original example earlier about money, what if your goal is 100,000 all throughout the year? 100,000 may seem to be a very big number. However, if you're going to divide that into a couple of thousands in, in a year or in a month, for example, each year is 8,000 pesos. It's easier to, to comprehend. So parang, okay, sige, 8,000 meaning I just have to sell something or sideline or mag-save na ako ng 10 or 20% per month. It is easier because the number is now smaller. So make that small goals that can help you achieve the bigger goal. And also, kapag na-achieve mo yun siya, let's say every month, may inspire ka na parang, okay, kaya ko pala siya nung January, kaya ko siya February, kaya ko siya March. So, tuloy-tuloy ka lang. You need to identify your motivation as well. So for example, there is a Netflix series called 100 Humans. One of their episodes, they talk about the motivation, different motivation for people. In that experiment, they realize na merong dalawang klase ng tao. But of course, there will be a lot of different um, scenarios. Ha. Pero one is motivated by fun or yung happy lang. Yung isa naman is motivated by money or reward or monetary reward. So yung dalawang ito, they did a similar activity which is to build a like a tower. Interestingly, yung group of people na ang motivation is just out of fun, katuwaan lang, masaya ito, they did very well compared to the people with motivation ay pera. Kasi yung sa pera, they felt pressured, stress, ganun. So, you need to identify what is your motivation. Is it money? Is it just for fun? Is it something else? Number four is to improve the four aspects in our lives. And these are body, relationship, mind, and money. So in this year, what I suggest is to look into these four categories or four aspects of our lives and see which one needs improvement. Or for example, all the three except the money, yun yung problema mo. So maybe this year, your focus is to how to improve your income, change of career, or is it to add your sideline? A sudden change is difficult, pero kung gagawin natin tong small changes every day, then that will be easier. Medyo na paos tayo ng konti. There is what we call the, the power of small incremental improvements. So what does it mean? Or if you're going to improve yourself 1% every day, for the next 260 working days, you actually improve yourself not just 2.6 times, but 13.3 times. That is the power of compounding. And lastly, number five, be the person you envision yourself to be. The goal is not to finish a marathon, but become the runner. The goal is not to publish a book, but become a writer. So do you see the difference? You really don't need anyone to motivate you or find more reasons to be inspired because you have become the goal. So for example, sa relationship, what if yung crush mo, ang gusto niya is matalino, mabait, mayaman, at naging ganun ka. And na-realize mo na hindi lang pala si crush mo may gusto ng matalino, mabait, mayaman, but a lot of beautiful women or men out there. So ngayon, hindi ka lang magiging crush ni crush mo, but magiging campus crush ka pa. Parang ang lame ng joke na yun. Pero sige. <laughs> the final key here is to understand yourself if you are ready for that change. And if you are, and make that small, consistent change into yourself, you will be surprised how huge the impact at the end of the year. And I wish you all the best for this year. And to help me improve my content, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Or you can also DM me in my Facebook page and Instagram account. See you in my next video. Thanks for watching. And this has been Say It Ralph.